Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be unboxing and getting the first impressions of the Inspiron 16 Plus. Now before we begin, I just want to say to anyone new to my channel, welcome and if you wouldn't mind I would like to ask you for a favour. Now uh, it doesn't cost you anything at all but I would like for you to help my channel grow. So if you wouldn't mind just pressing that subscribe button, like, like I said it doesn't cost you anything, uh, just don't press the bell icon. If you press the bell icon, then you'll get a notification every single time I upload something. I'm not the type of person that wants to bombard you with emails to say, oh, MIA just uploaded something. I just want to be on your feed. I'm a tech enthusiast and I would like to provide my um, expertise and my experience to the general public out there. Um, just a bit on me. I have over a decade of tech experience. I've been around many, many companies and I would like to do YouTube as a living. So if you could, I would really appreciate if you would support just by hitting that subscribe button. And yeah, I would really appreciate that. So without wasting any more of your time, let's get into the unboxing. That's a big box. Bloody hell, okay. All right, so here we have the Inspiron 16 Plus. So it's a 16 inch powerful Dell laptop that offers a H series processor. I'll put the description of the specs, I'll put the specs in the description below. So those of you who are interested, go ahead and check that out. So, here is our Dell Inspiron 16 Plus. Let's get inside it. I'm gonna need, let's open this bad boy up. All right. So, uh, just the eco message right now. This packaging is I believe it said 90% recyclable. So 90% of everything that we're about to take out right now, you can pretty much recycle. So, if I put the laptop out, there we go. So in here, you've literally got some user manuals and cardboard pulp, then you have charging brick right here so the charging brick you've got the 130 watt charger because it is the H series laptop you do need a more powerful power brick to put these aside so as I mentioned before the packaging is 90% made up of recycled material and that's because the 10% are these bits over here which provide support inside the box for the laptop so when it's inside its packaging those supportive areas over here make sure that your device don't get damaged so everything else you can recycle and dispose of these properly and what we're going to do is get our first impressions of this laptop now and straight away I can tell you it's slightly heavy now I'm expecting slightly heavy because it is a powerful laptop. It's got a H series graphics card in there. I believe this model has the 3050 uh, RTX graphics card and straight away, it looks nice already. Oh, and already I can see some nice premium touches. There's like a little shine over here. I like it. All right, let's get inside. I'm teasing myself too much. Oh, there's something here. There's a QR code on there. I'll scan that later on and let you know what that actually does. Untape this. Oh, I like how much cooling is happening over here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a lot of vents over here, which I like to see. What's over here? This is going to be interesting to find out what the hell that is. Okay. Has it got it on both sides or is it just on the one side? Oh, it's on both sides. This might be the speakers. These might actually be the speakers. I'm not entirely sure. All right, this is my hands touching it for the first time. That feels nice. What is that? Hmm. 
feels like the bottom is made out of polycarbonate plastic, but I'll confirm that. The top feels aluminium. It feels nice to the touch. I'm liking the feel of it to the touch. Oh, oh you know what, that's quite pretty. That side's quite pretty. I'm liking the blue. The blue on this is quite nice. It's um, at certain angles when you look at it, it, I don't know how to explain it. It's got this nice effect to it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to pick it up on the camera, but it has a nice effect to the laptop as you're looking at it from the different angles, depending on how the light hits it. And then you've got this nice, this diamond cut edge that goes around the entire laptop. That's a nice premium touch there. So again, cool invents. That's looking really good. That these look really impressive. We have power input, HDMI port, USB Type 3, so USB 3, and a USB Type C port and a battery charge indicator. And on the other side, we have a headphone jack, another USB, and a standard SD card slot. And on the back, we can have a look at the air vents, which look like they're gonna be doing their job just right. And then you've got little kickstands over here to give the device elevation when it's on the surface. So one thing you might have picked up on already, it's already picked up quite a bit of smudges from me touching it. Uh, not gonna lie, my hands were kind of dirty from opening that package earlier, it had a lot of dust on it. Um, so, but do expect some packages, but then again, this won't be hard to clean, like you can literally just wipe it and it'll clean off. So, my impressions of the outside, it seems to be built quite nicely, aluminium finished, you can tell on the top, however, I'm not too sure what the bottom's made out of, so I'll find out what the bottom's made out of, but this is definitely aluminium, and if I open it up, oh, oh, I like it, I like it. Alright, let's put that into frame. A bit nicer, shall we? Hold on. Alright, that I am liking, guys. You got heat vents all along up here. And one thing that I'm liking straight away that sticks out at me, and this is a nice addition that I like, is this giant trackpad. Usually this giant trackpad is what you see on Apple products. The fact that we're now seeing it on Windows laptops, in particular this Dell, Inspiron 16 Plus, that trackpad size is a very nice welcome. And it's got that same diamond cut edge around the side of that trackpad, which is nice. Got a nice numerical keyboard over here. There's even a dedicated calculator button. That's nice to see. Um, and this is a fingerprint scanner model as well, so it's got that symbol there, so it's a fingerprint scanner. Inside here, it's got uh, TUV Rainland certified, so this is a low blue light emitting display. Uh, it's also an anti-glare display, which is nice. Um, what else can I tell you about it, just from the looks of it? Oh, okay, it's got that webcam shutter that I like. But there's an indent over here, which is the webcam shutter. You literally just swing it left and right to open or close the webcam. That's literally just navigated up here. So right now it's closed, and you can actually easily see when you close it and open it. Right, and again, the benefit of the mechanical webcam shutter is the fact that instead of an electronical one, this can't be overridden. So, first impressions, design-wise, it looks good. It looks like it has ample ventilation for whenever you are doing um, high performing or high demanding tasks. So it's got air vents along the side over here, along the side over here, and air vents along the top. As we saw earlier, along the bottom, you've got multiple intakes, which is nice to see. And I can actually see just through there the fans, and the fans look relatively big. So I'm pretty sure now these are the speakers on either side. So these are the speakers. Uh, let's get inside it. Let's find out what's actually inside. I can see the two fans over here, so I can definitely see that it's got two fans in here. Uh, one thing I do know, if you go for the 3060 RTX GPU model or above, you actually get three fans. Now, if I can find it, I'll put up an illustration of what the three fans setup looks like. But for now, let's try and get inside this machine. So we've got screws that we need that are 
Let's reposition this bad boy. So everything pried open. These two screws over here don't actually need to come out, I don't think. One thing I like about the Dell machines is the fact that they're expecting you to upgrade, so getting inside their machines is never really too hard. If you have prying tools, then obviously you'll have a much easier experience. Unfortunately, I have prying tools, but I'm that sort of person that will keep misplacing the prying tools. So, make sure you take off from this side first, so this back part can literally just slide off. Oh! It seems you don't actually have to take this screw over here off. Okay, that's good to know. So this middle screw doesn't look like it actually needs to be released to take off the back. So, now that we're inside we can see a couple of things happening straight away. So you've got copper lining over here, which actually helps with the heat distribution. You've got copper lining over here and you've got some material over here to help with the heat distribution. So. That's good to know that it's not just on the device itself. You do actually have additional heat management happening on the back casing itself. And now feeling this, this, this actually does feel like aluminium. So this is an aluminium component. All right, so what do we have over here? We have an 86 watt hour battery, which is nice to see considering this is gonna be a powerhouse. That's really nice to see. And then over here, for some reason on my one, I've actually got casing over the speaker which is not what I really want but move it across so these are speakers that we saw earlier so there are speakers over there and we have two m.2 slots over here that I can see uh, three m.2s and then my two RAM ports so I've got one stick of RAM my second stick of RAM so you can replace your RAM it's as simple as letting it release pulling it out and then replace it with the RAM that you want. Currently I've got 16 gigs in here, but I believe it can go up to 64. I'll double check, if not, it can definitely go up to 32. So you can upgrade your RAM. Let's open these up and see how many of these spots are actually being taken up. So if we open this up. Okay, so it's got heat management assembly here too. So this is actually, this material here that you see is actually a heat management material. So if I tear it off slowly, because you don't want to damage this, right? This material here stops components from reaching high temperatures. So that's really cool to see inside this Dell machine. This isn't cheap. This material you see here isn't cheap. That's really nice to see that they've actually implemented that in this machine. Uh, I'll try find out the actual name for this, but I believe it was Gore. I'll double check, but yeah. So you can actually put a full size M.2 in here. So this slot is being taken up by a 512, yep, it's a 512 gigabyte SSD. So I'm just gonna place this back carefully now because this stuff is expensive. So I'll place it back carefully. Awesome. All right, let's have a look under this one as well. So we've got another M.2 slot over here. So let's get that off. That's nice to see. So we've got a spare SSD port over here. So if you want to add additional storage, you have the ability to do so. And they've they provided the Gore thermals on this as well, which is really nice. And again, it's those nice touches. All right, so that's everything put back together. And now we're just gonna put the case back on, take it out, feed it in, All right? Make sure that part has been fed in. Close this back part off safely first. And then, screw this machine back together. My first impressions of this device right now is the fact that the exterior is beautifully built. The fact that it's all aluminium is a very nice touch and I love this um, diamond cut edge that goes around the whole device. It gives it a nice premium look and it really stands out uh, when you're using it. Well, it looks like it will stand out when you're using it. And yeah, and upgradability wise, I love the fact that you've got two RAM slots that you can upgrade. I love the fact that there's a 512 SSD inside here along with a spare slot so you can increase the storage even further if you wanted to. Um, 
So let's see if this machine actually has any power. And if it does, you get my first impressions of the look of the screen. But most likely when I get these laptops, they don't have any power inside them. And that's exactly what this seems like right now. So, uh, I'm gonna pass it back to me on a different cam. So that was the unboxing and my first impressions. Now I actually recorded that video two weeks ago to me recording this video right now. <laughs> so I've actually been using the laptop now for about two weeks and I'll be doing a full review of the laptop mid-September. So if you wanna see that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. But what I would like for you to do right now is think about what you'd like me to test on the machine. Think about what you'd like me to answer in that upcoming video. So comment all those things down below and I'll try and make sure I answer all the questions I can. And I'll try also make a dedicated video to the most commented comment. If that makes any sense, I'm pretty sure it does. Um, so yeah, you might have noticed that when it comes to an unboxing experience with Dell machines, unless you're getting an XPS, the unboxing experience is rather boring to say the least. That doesn't mean it's bad. Um, they do do, do do. <laughs> they do do a lot of um, eco uh, movements, I guess, um, along the way. So their packaging, um, so their packaging unboxing experience may not be great, but you know that the package that you are getting with that laptop has been either recycled to a high level, or you're able to recycle it again um, without having to worry about harming the planet. So you can expect the full review video to be launched mid-September and I look forward to reading your comments, responding to you guys. And if you are new to the channel, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I would really appreciate your support. Uh, so if you wouldn't mind, it doesn't cost you a penny, hit that subscribe button. Go on, do it. <laughs> Until then, catch you on the next one.